Hi, I'm Tyler Field, Vice President of Wine and Spirits for Morton's The Steakhouse. And I'm here at the beautiful Dean and DeLuca uh, store here in Napa, where they happen to sell some of the best wines the Napa Valley has to offer. And I'm here with their wine director, Karen Laz. Thank you for being here, Karen. Thank you. But I think we all want to know is that obviously, we love it when you come to Morton's and buy wine here, but we also realize that a lot of your wine purchases are, are for the home. So we want to go into a retail space, and maybe Karen can give us some clues of what to look for. And obviously, Karen, one of the things here in the Napa Valley, right when we first walked into the door, mm -hmm. you had featured wines. So yes. so what are these? Is it the most expensive, the least expensive? What is it for Dean and DeLuca? The featured wine section that we have here and at all, actually all of our Dean and DeLuca wine departments, they are typically wines that are small production, um, harder to find, and that's not necessarily meaning the most expensive, but uh, wines that you wouldn't typically be able to find outside of California. What we have at every Dean and DeLuca wine location are these wooden box displays, and they always hold great value wines, so not over the top expensive. They typically are less than $30 a bottle, um, and they're just showcasing smaller wineries like we have here, and great drinking, um, approachable now typically, and that's, I mean, it's great for the customers that are coming in and they want to grab something open and drink now. So Karen, show us a great value in your, your store here. This is one of the great value wines that we found, and it, when I say great value, for me, this wine is kind of a no-brainer when it comes to picking it out because it is actually the second label for Dancing Hares. So this is called Mad Hatter. And Dancing Hares is a newer winery that began on the base of Howl Mountain um, with Andy Erickson and David Abreu as partners at the winery. It's so a big deal, people. It's a big deal, yeah. So, I mean, Andy Erickson, who's making Screaming Eagle, uh, he's doing Ovid, he's making wines that are well over $200. And so, for a $55 bottle of wine, that's a state fruit farmed by David Abreu. Um, it's just a great wine, and it drinks incredibly well. So, would it be fair to say, if I was looking for a wine and I was on a budget, um, would you ask for, do you have any great second labels from great wineries? Because you could probably find Absolutely. value in that category. Second values right now are just unbelievable values from ranging in price from $20 second label wines to you know $100 second label wines. But they typically are really well made, uh, estate fruit, and drinking, I, I think drinking uh, better now than you know some of the proprietary wines that you need to Great. lay down. So can we show our guests this so yes. they can look for it? It's called the Mad Hatter. It's 2007 Napa Valley red wine. And Karen, I just want to thank you so much for spending time thank with us today. Thank you very today. much. You really helped us out. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon.